Hey Plit, uh, it's me, Mark Cartmel. Um, I'm I'm coming to you live from outside our Bitter municipality. Um, you would be amazed at how much uh, has gone missing from such a small little municipality. And uh, the latest uh, this morning, which which I'm sad to bring everybody, is the the um, the appointment of Lunwabo Nguoko as our new municipal manager. You know, the long-term residents of, of Plettenberg Bay will know that this person from the period of 2008 to 2012, uh, you know, he was dismissed for serious financial misconduct. One of the charges being his role in the attempted purchase of the Ebenezer land for 28 million rand, which was only valued at 3 million. Um, you know, he, he, he was found guilty and dismissed in 2012. Um, he won a bargaining council appeal against the finding, but the victory was short-lived and it was overturned by the Cape High Court. It was overturned. This person was found to be guilty of financial misconduct. Um, you know, um, he has then, uh, sadly, he's now just been appointed um, as the municipal manager against, against government uh, wishes. Um, at the Bitter Municipality, he's our new financial manager. You know, to add salt to the wound uh, of all the millions that have gone missing and the mismanagement, we've now got a person who was accused and 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 has a record of of, of spending money that he wasn't allowed to as our new municipal manager, um, the Mayor Lubizi. I mean, to to add to add insult to injury, has offered him 1.5 million rand retroactive. As a settlement to return to Plet as the municipal manager, 800 k, 800,000 as a belated severance package, and 700,000 for his legal costs. This appointment obviously requires ratification from the Minister of Local Government within 14 days, which is this Thursday, the 14th. Um, you know, we've made as the ratepayers our appeal uh, to find out what what the situation is on this. Um, although no one has responded, we're told that the Minister of Local Government has told Bito not to pay these funds over to Limwabo. And, and if they did, uh, he would hold the councillors who voted for it financially liable. They apparently have paid it. So although um, no response has taken place, we, the Plet Ratepayers Association, uh, are hot on this case and we're working hard and tirelessly, tirelessly to, to, to find out how we can stop this. Um, you know, this is another blow to us, and we keep trying to fight the crime and corruption taking place. Um, per reports, Lovisi has been on a spending spree, we know that. Millions and millions has been spent on entertainment, municipal housing, and so much more. Um, and it's costing the ratepayers millions and millions. And now the appointment against uh, better advice from, from people in higher places for uh, Lemwobo, uh, not to be appointed as a financial uh, uh, municipal manager has taken place. Plet ratepayers, we're reaching out to you now and asking you, please um, keep donating, keep contributing to the fight against uh, corruption. We are, we've got to stand united, and, and I'm sure that uh, sooner or later, the people um, outside of just the Plet ratepayers are, are, are going to just have enough, enough of all the municipal spending, and now the appointment of this individual who has, uh, you know, a, a torrid. Uh, um, a history behind him um, as somebody who has been dismissed for for misconduct financial misconduct is now our municipal manager we've got to do something plate we've got to stand united we've got to fight against this you know don't don't look away don't look away because it's not going to go away thanks